Okay, so today we are looking at the odds of something happening. Now, I will point this out. Oh, you need another one of these. Can you find another book up there, Mr. Kozlowski, or help us to find one? I will point out that the key word here is, Robert, get your stuff out, man. You had lots of time. Is the word odds. Now, Mrs. Coombs, who's far more organized than I am, um, went through a bunch of old exams and she said that these questions always appear. The odds are pretty good. You're going to see this question on the exam. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, you just get that earbud out of here. First of all, thing in here. Well, then why do you have it? You work with Secret Service? There's nothing in here. Okay. So the key idea is that odds and um, odds and probability are two different things. So if you get the wrong one, you're going to get it wrong. So you have to really, really, really be careful to make sure that what you're asked to find. Okay. So it's going to ask for the odds. Or it's going to ask for the probability, and they're written two different ways. So just make sure you understand which one. Having some trouble there, Mrs. P? Uh, we have one. Okay. Okay. So the likelihood of an event occurring is not always expressed using probability. It can also be expressed in terms of odds in favor or odds against the event occurring. The odds compares the desired events to the undesired events. That's the key thing there. So good things versus bad things, as opposed to good things out of total possible things. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Odds is good things versus bad things. Probability is good things versus all possibilities. Okay, Robert, do you don't have to look at it? You got it there? Excellent. Odds are used frequently in the world of horse racing and sports. All right. What are the odds that the Leafs are going to win the cup? Zero. You said it right. Let's just see here. Odds of Maple Leaf. Stanley Cup win. Oh, because it's betting. No, it's not going to show you. Betting. Maybe this one? I'm gonna get. I'm going to get fired because I'm trying to. Well, maybe in an article, maybe. Okay. Yeah, so this was like last year, right? Come on. There's the list here. Okay, so so it's like can you guys read that? It's really hard to read, right? Okay. The next close getting project is to the top five after the Leafs. So the Leafs are Oilers were eighteen to one. Can Calgary Flames twenty eight to one. Canadians fifty to one. And the Senators a hundred to one. Right, so the Leafs were, where's the Leafs here? Plus a thousand. Does that mean, no, I can't mean like a thousand to one. I'm not sure how that's expressed there. Odds to win. I'm not sure how to express. But, but here you can see like 28 to 1, 80 to 1, all that's right. Okay, so the, so, yeah, unlikely. Okay, so here's how you write the odds. We write odds a bit differently from probability. Odds in favor to unfavorable, sorry, odds in favor. Favorable outcomes to unfavorable outcomes. See how it's green? Right. Um, what about, do you, are you doing the, the back evacuation? If they call me, I will. Yeah, don't worry about that. I'm just asking. I know. So it's what you want to happen versus what you don't want to happen. And there's odds against unfavorable, what you don't want to happen, to favorable outcome, what you do want to have. Okay, it's a little bit of a mind kind of shift, twist. And I will be honest, I'm having a hard time with it myself. Mm -hmm. We may have to revisit this. The odds are pretty good, we're going to do it. 
Okay. Okay. So, Mr. Sadler, I don't know who that is. Randomly selects a student from the class. What are the odds in favor of selecting a student who brought their phone today? Well, probably pretty good. Okay. I don't like this question, so I'm going to give you some um, numbers. Numbers. So let's say that there are. We don't have that. Um, you don't have that. Well, you can be at this. Oh, yeah, this is Dick? Yeah. Okay, same pro same question, right? Mm, yeah. Let's say that there's 25 kids. 25 kiddos. You guys know the abbreviation for without? Without. W slash O means without. Yeah. Without phone. So let's say that there's a class, Mr. Sander or Mrs. Dick or whoever it is. 25 kids in the class, there's five without a phone. Maybe it's like a grade three class. What? Oh, little, little joke there. Mr. Pazlowski, right? I like it. Yeah. What are the odds in favor of selecting a student who brought their phone today? Okay, well, first of all, you have to think. How many people have a phone? If there's five without, that means there's? 20 of them. 20 phones. 20 what? So what are the odds in favor of selecting a student who brought their phone today? So favorable outcomes would be picking someone with the phone, so that would be 20, 22, no, 20 to 5. It's not probability. The probability always would be 20 out of 25, but the odds is favorable to unfavorable, so it would be 20 to 5. Now can you reduce that? Is that like a fraction? It is like a fraction. So you could say that would be the same as 4 to 1. It's quite likely. 4 to 1 odds. What are the odds against selecting a girl? Oh, okay, so I have to give you that there's um, 25 students. It says here, what are the odds in favor? I'm not doing that one. I'm doing the I'm selecting a girl one. 25 students, and let's say that there are 10 girls. Okay? There are 10 girls in this class. So what are the odds against selecting a girl? So it would be, oh, I did that wrong in my answer key here. Oh, sorry. That's against. Right. Okay, so you, Mrs. Pasolowski, you probably have more experience with me than this. So I, uh, no? No. I think the answer, it is tough. I think the answer is 15 to 10. Yes, it is. That's what I would say. That's please. what you would say too? Against selecting a girl. And you can reduce that to 3 to 2. Okay, so I'm going to change the name to Mr. Bennett. Brighton, get off your phone. You need to pay attention. What are the odds in favor of selecting someone with? No longer. Okay, so it's my class, and there's, and there's 25 kids. So what are the odds in favor of selecting someone with no hair? Zero. There's only one favorable outcome. Zero to one. Right? It'd be 1 to 25 because there's 25 kids. 26 altogether. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. you got to focus right. I'm afraid you're kind of just taking this a little bit too flippantly. Note, when you write odds, the two sides add up to the total number of events. Put a star beside that. That's important. When you write the odds, the two sides add up to the total number of events. Remember, uh, Elvis, you said it was like the first time there, right? You said like five out of, no, 20 out of 25, right? right? Yeah. They have to add up to the total. Okay? So if the odds are two to three, that means that the probability is two out of Five. Where does the five come from? Two plus three. Because this is favorable 
This is the good. How many of y'all say good? And this is the bad. Right? And the bottom is always good plus bad. You gotta take the good with the bad. That's what I always say. Right? Does that make sense? I kind of got the feeling we're gonna have to spend a couple days on this one. Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Weird. yeah, it is a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. I'm thinking that they're totally doing this in the curriculum just in case you ever go to the horse the horse races and you want to make sure you know what you're doing. Is that important? I don't know. Okay, Anthony rolls a 20-sided die. What the heck is a 20-sided die? Well, a regular die, like you know, dice, like you're throwing, like you're playing Yahtzee or something, sparkle. Writing how many sides on a regular sided die? Six, right? And what are they numbered? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four five, six. This is a 20 sided die. They're going to be numbered one, one two, two, three, blah, 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 18, 19, 20. What is the probability of rolling an even number? Okay, so first of all, how many evens are there? 10. How many odds are there? 10. What's the total? 20. It's probably not a bad idea to do that little exercise, that little sort of thing to sort of figure out what you're talking about before you try it, right? So what is the probability of rolling an even number? Well, favorable ones are even. The opposite is odds. How many of them are there? 10. So it's 10 to 10, or we would say 1 to 1. There's a 1 to 1 chance. But what do you guys see? Oh yeah, it's, it's a patio day. Yeah, the patio's open. What are the odds? Oh, I screwed it up. I totally screwed it up, but I totally did it on purpose to show that it can happen even to a genius like me. Because it says, what is the probability of rolling an even number? So probability is not this stuff. Probability is this stuff. Even number, 10 out of 20, or 1 out of 2, or 0 0.5, right? Probability is out of the total. So I really, really suggest slow down, Mr. Bennett. Don't make that mistake. Do you believe me that I made that mistake on purpose? No. There's a note right here in my book that says, make mistake on purpose. No takers, eh? It happens. it happens. We all make mistakes. So what are the odds in favor of rolling? Is this right now? What are the odds in favor of rolling an even number? Yeah, this is right. What are the odds against rolling an even number? Well, that would also be 10 to 10 or 1 to 1, wouldn't it, right? No. Okay, now do you guys have, oh, you don't, or I don't, you guys do. Do you guys have that practice one there, right? Yeah. How about you, you want to try that one on your own, yeah. and then we'll give you some answers? Maybe we'll sure. do it this way, okay? You guys try that on your own, and then we'll go, I'll give you some answers. So, we're going to complete this. The odds in favor, rolling a six using one die, right? Rolling a six. So what are the odds in favor? If you're rolling a, uh, a six using one die. So if one die, right, and put the phone away. How many favorable outcomes is there? There's only one, right? There's only one. How many unfavorables are there? How many not sixes? Five. It's one to five. Right? What are the odds against? Well, the odds against is simply the reverse, right? Five to one. Five to one. Good chance. You're not going to roll a six. The last column is probability. What is the chances of rolling a six? One out of six, right? One out of six. Remember, these two have to add up to the bottom. This is the probability. Is it starting to make some sense? This is odds. Oh, yay, yay. Odds four. 
odds against. Against it. Okay. Choosing the letter A from the word aardvark. I don't think I've ever wrote the word aardvark. An aardvark? Yeah. It's an animal. You remember uh, the, the kids show uh, Arthur? You might need to change the uh, W to B. Arthur? Arthur was an aardvark. No, he wasn't. He was a anteater, I'm pretty sure. No. I'm pretty sure. What animal is Arthur? Ew. He's an yeah, he's an aardvark. Okay. <laughs> okay, so my question is, how do his glasses stay on his face? That's an excellent question. Sticky tack? I, I don't know, man. Most of them have blue in his heart. Your glasses are here, they never move. Josh is a sharp, sharp cookie. Okay, so we're choosing letter A from aardvark. I'm going to write aardvark, like actual, like in. Okay, so it's A A R B V A R K. Okay, so, well, how many A's are there? There's three. There are three. So odds four are going to be three, two. How many not A's are there? Four. One, five. two, three, four, five. Three to five. Odds against? No, five, two, three. Probability of picking an A. Three good ones. Total of? Eight. Arthur would be proud. Getting a heads when you flip a coin. 50 /50. It's 50 50. So the odds are 1 to 1, oh, wow. right? Heads compared to tails. Odds against, also 1 to 1. Probability, 1 out of 2. Okay, let's have some fun. Ms. Kozlowski, can you go to the math printer? Do you have a key for the math printer? Oh, no, like no, right no, here? What are we doing? Oh, we're going to have a lot of, we're going to have a little contest here. And I have a free lunch up for grabs. A what? Free lunch, free lunch.